I want to go over a couple things before we begin. My previous recording got corrupted and deleted itself. I believe it's a computation error, I'm not sure. Anyway, the previous episode would have been taking care of Rex and the Primarchs missions that they asked us about that I showed you before. I did those, recorded those, the data got corrupted and I lost it. So, to sum up, I talked about the Rachni and how I believe, through evidence in Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, that the Rachni during the Rachni War were indoctrinated by the Reapers and they were originally going to be the vanguard bringing the Reapers to the galaxy after the Prothean cycle had ensured that the Keepers would not send the signal to the Citadel itself. But the Salarians uplifted the Krogan in order to deal with the Rachni, which is something that the Reapers could not have predicted. And that's why that plan ultimately failed. Then they waited around a little while in order to determine when the weakest point would be to strike. Hence, Sovereign allying with Saren and the Geth. I also talked a little bit about evidence early on that Cerberus were, being, were all being indoctrinated because they would go to Sir Kesh and try to stop the genophage cure by killing the female Krogan. So, in summation, I believe the Rachni were indoctrinated. We killed the ones that were. I saved the Rachni Queen again. We're going to use her as a war asset. Too valuable versus our elect company. Honestly, I, I couldn't have a comparison. It was a better choice. And I've gotten really good endings on that before in the past. With all that said, let's go to Chuchanka and cure the genophage. To the Shroud facility. All hands full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper Shepard, using shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Moments in galactic history. Incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comment for you. Dalatrus? This bitch. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Backstabbing bitch. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from them. 
Oh, that ain't good. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Let's test out this new armor and the new weapon. Oh. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. What? It is coming. Push forward. Don't let him get up here. Damn. I like this gun. Reminds me of the mess on Palabu. We're not done yet. More on the way. Got them all. Yeah, where are they? Back. This is a good gun. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? said anything about this multiple Krogan problematic who are you <laughs> Erd not Reed, brood brother to our illustrious leader <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else for which I'm thankful I remember what it means to be a true Krogan <laughs> We flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. The Solarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the Genophage. Why should we trust him? <laughs> now you're place, you little shit. As I do. And so will you. <laughs> Listen to the female. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a reaper that needs killing! No, before the we'll we'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the ancients. Glory of ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future have to, to look forward why? to. Because until this Valerian interference. No, we destroyed to chunk ourselves. Technology Ooh, changed us. It made life <laughs> too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? <laughs> With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Commander, on the shuttle. 
Was there something you were going to say? The Dalatraz tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. That's why I won't deal with the Delatress. Why are we stopping? At least not in a Paragon playthrough. <laughs> I got a Renegade one that I'm not recording. I already killed Rex and destroyed Malin's data, so yeah. I also killed the Rachmai in that one. So we'll see how that plays out. If you want updates on that playthrough, ask me in the comments. I'll tell you how it goes. Rex, you and Morton stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Hmm. What's the holdup? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. They already don't have a choice, but... An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Oof. Yep. And then this happened. What a flip! Screw that road. Artemek, do you copy? We have to abort, Commander. That reaper's tearing us to pieces. <laughs> Understood. Save your pilots. We'll find another way. Shepard, a tunnel over there. Maybe a way off. Huh. Get to it. Tunnel over here. Eee. Down we go. Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll what need the a hell? new plan for dealing with Felt the like Reaper. Tremor. First we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. <laughs> Nothing will stop this cure. Well, that's putting it mildly. Well, because the Krogan could paint once upon a time. A nuclear war has a way of erasing the past. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. So, do I really want to know who Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, is? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. <laughs> Wild Guess says that's Kalros. That's what's crawling around down here? Damn. Impressive, isn't it? The big Thresher. I don't think it would have been able to kill that with a cane. Maybe if the cane could shoot more than once. I remember these looked like, like ordinary people instead of Krogan on top of these, and I figured that these animals here were Krogan. But either either I saw it wrong, or they changed the graphical overlay on this to make it look like Krogan. Could be a Cagliosaur, because that's a side mission you can do. Oh, shit. Looks like the Rachni again. There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. <laughs> and now, this is new. Part of Chachanka that is in rubble. Makes you wonder what the Krogan could have been if they hadn't nuked the place. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. 
something green. I didn't think plants grew here anymore. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. I'd love to know how we're going to deal with the Reaper when we get there. Oh, don't worry. Problems like this tend to solve themselves. Well, all hell just broke loose. I'm definitely gonna trade this in for a different weapon later. I like it, it's powerful, but it's a little unstable. It's not over yet! Oh, see, that worked. Rex, you're right about Calros. She's on the move. Yeah, we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. <laughs> James has a phobia of husks, swarmers. Yep. Shoot, kind of surprised the damn thing didn't crumble. <laughs> and the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying it. Heads up! They're back! I'm on it. Rex busy driving truck. Are you still alive? Doing what we can. What about you? Alarmed yet entertained. Calros is quite resistant. See how this goes. Somebody has a plan B. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Yep. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. <laughs> this is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. That's a fair assessment. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't. This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. 
There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. Solaris thought she would scare away intruders. Well. It appears to have worked. Yep. There are two mock hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Now, let's show them why. Wish I could have hugged Rex. Never get to hug a Krogan. Go! I've got this! I am Earth and Rex! And this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's get in there! Oh boy, lots of them, huh? We're kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll handle it. I'm conceiving strategy in my head. Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Morton. They're all over us out here. Holy shit! Off to the left! What, the Reaper? <clears throat> oh. Yep, the Reaper. <laughs> it said no. I'll give you a big open. No, oh, I'll do my best. Just keep moving. Stick to cover. I'm not sure cover's going to work. Well, now that's some goddamn ball. Yeah, let's push ahead. It's also why I wish there was space combat. Yeah, I got it. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'm hitting it. Oh, well, I guess I was. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. No, you don't. Ah, oh, fuck. This is gonna kill me. Get this some bitch off of me. Uh -oh. Dancing under a reaper. Morton, we hit the first hammer. I'm coming. Almost half cured. Eve's final signs dropping. Trying to compensate. Second hammer's on the other side. Trying. There's a reaper in my way, Rex. <laughs> you get all the fun. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not dying from that. Go. Get back to the truck. I'll take care of the cure. Now. She's coming. <laughs> It's like watching a kaiju movie. Nom, 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 nom. And the Reaper's like, get the fuck off of me! I'm surprised the Reaper's strong enough to do that. Or even the shroud for surviving that. Jaros is definitely smart. Shit, I got you now, bitch. Crap. 
crunch, sport. I was about to say, that looked like the facility on Sarkesh, but then it was like, the Solarians built it, duh, it's gonna look like that. Mort, is the cure ready? Yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. That's why I saved Rex in this Paragon playthrough. Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Mort, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Catchphrase. This is so sad. I like Morden. This is a sad moment. I like the graphical changes that they did with the sky. It's pretty. And there's that Mass Effect 1 music making you all tingly. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnat Bakara calls you a friend. 
Nah, she said her name. I don't remember that happening. Achievement! Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophase. I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Yeah. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, heard not Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying. It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Listen to your best friend, Shepard. Another nightmare. have lost. Disappeared behind the tree. There he is. Go get him, Commander. I'll see you all when you get back. Remembering Ash. Almost got to him. PTSD from a game. <laughs> I know, right? It's over. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Ashley, back on Vermeer. She gave her life stopping Soffer. I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. <laughs> If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like her. Pretty decent smile there, Shep. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. You call it the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. 
I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... Shut up, Valor. I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valern out. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed that <laughs> the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. <laughs> Not a lot of small talk going on there. I love that. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, violent, mostly Vorja I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnar Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation. But whatever you did, it was worth it. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Well, before we launch the next mission, let's have a sweet and tender moment. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Sarah. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. <laughs> Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a skilled engineer. The best the Alliance ever offered in battle, in fact. He was a soldier and a leader. One who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> Cheesy and romantic. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? Time for an interview. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. 
millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni War and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Let's see how things are cracking in Citadel. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're heading <laughs> to Bay 1 4 Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? That's not good. That's not good. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No, I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm at a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Got some crap smoking in Backhanded that sky car. got hit. Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. Understood. There we go. Those Cerberus troops on you. Thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. <laughs> the Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in CSEC's flying blind without the network. What about the government? Have your leaders been killed? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. <laughs> hmm. Going in with a weapon I'm not even equipped with. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that going to help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. 
Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The Counselor would have a clearer picture for all the good that does us. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? The Executor's office is defensible. He may have gone to ground there when the shooting started. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Omnitool is like a smartphone, but on your wrist. Hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. <laughs> yeah, you didn't last. Crap. There's always more, huh? Cover the back flank, turret. Yeah. Well, that didn't take long. Well. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Commander, these bodies have entry wounds at the base of the skull. Given the position of the bodies, they were likely surprised by individuals they knew. Same as Mars. Cerberus sure likes sleeper agents. That's not good. Slap that on you tool on the door. It's the only time slapping a smart device onto something is actually a good idea. <laughs> His back exploded. Well, that worked. Ooh, a revenant. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Any survivors in there? None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. Are you all right? Your body language indicates contemplation. In my cycle. It is said the Reapers took this station in a matter of hours. To see its inhabitants fight back gives me pause. You are welcome to share your feelings. There is hope for those living now. There was none for my species. That is all. Deep thoughts from Javik. Never expected that. We've got to be close now. There is damage here. We may be too late. Executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. <laughs> Sneaky little weasel. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Now, oh, this bastard. Think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean, Odina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. <laughs> if only thing wasn't in bad shape. Yeah, beat his ass thing.
tragedy. Slimy bastard's not gonna get away. Medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Let's see how long this lasts. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. Well, shit. <laughs> Take the wheel. Javik, take the wheel. <laughs> Our first look at a phantom. This is not going to be a 10 point landing. Well, so much for that car. Contacting the council? Negative, their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's Shit. responders. Where are they going? Yeah, uh, you're going down. Bitch. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. You, I want to finish in person. Burn. I did not choose a restraining harness while we were in public. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Well, he's nailed to the wall. Look. The traitors have sealed the door. I'm at Shalbar Plaza. Where's the town? Great. Yeah. Going into the shaft. We're getting shafted, guys. Oh, he's got help. Itty super strong. <laughs> Ramen. Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. <laughs> Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. <laughs> nice. I found a friend. Kill shit. There's a power conduit beneath it. There we go. <laughs> Threat neutralized for now. Incoming phantoms. Where are they? Up. Well, oh, I can't look up that high. Someone kill this bitch! Oh shit! Well. Shepard, bad news. Is 
there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up, I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Obama! Shepard? I see them. Jump! There we go. What's that noise? Gun! Get down! He's with Severus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, kid. Come on, Shepard. We got a tabby one. A counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Budina's behind this attack. The Salarian counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. You won't, Caden. You won't. Odina? Step away from the console. To hell with this. He's got a gun. I'll let Caden take care of it. <laughs> I wanted to shoot him, but hell. Caden was closer. Caden? Yeah, I'm good. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Again. You've saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palava. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. <laughs> yes. Things didn't go as planned. They never do for you. The Council's still in control of the Citadel, and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? Cerberus operative. Deep's cover there agent. There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Lang. It won't happen again. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Achievement! We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. <laughs> we can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh... There's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. 
He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. <laughs> can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Bane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured, stabbed wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Even in transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of drow blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other drill on the station is a match, and that drill is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Damn. No real way to save thing. It's okay. Commander Shepard. My father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Vane. <coughs> that assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill drow managed to stop him from reaching his target. <laughs> I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. 
If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Cringe time. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. Yeah. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad. I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. They gave him plot. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, uh, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. <laughs> okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Good thing I got some of that Nami one. Asari matriarch writings help. <laughs> Yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? I bought one of those too. How did you even? <laughs> well, this is great. Because I smart. <laughs> okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. Now for the conclusion. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispensers should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. <laughs> Overstepping your bounds there, Conrad. What? <laughs> Wee! Bah! <laughs> Shepard, punch! Shepard for smash. Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. Yeah. I don't even feel anything. <laughs> Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. Yep. And now you're volunteering here. <laughs> right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh dear. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. See, Conrad never actually had a wife. <laughs> Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? 
Luke Knowles. I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. And now the conclusion. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on a leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. It would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. <laughs> Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I don't want down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay, talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stopped the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself, knowing that you acted with integrity, and it matters. You're talking about Adina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. You acted with integrity. I saw the whole thing. All right. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, sir. Hmm. <laughs> you got Caden back. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. 
Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Councilor Valorn. Kyle. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Keeley Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. Yeah, obviously but he not. should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Yeah. Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Hey. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. A minute, Commander. I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. That would probably be the next episode. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. After this brief interview with Allers, we'll go ahead and close things out. This is SteamFox88 signing out for Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Trainer, can you send Diana? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Okay. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. 
A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. All right, I believe it was a mistake, and it looks like we have another conversation. But still, if you want to stay tuned, stay tuned. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean... Was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments, and they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. A lot of kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but if you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Now, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thanks again, Loco. Anytime. And that was a reference to, I believe, the anime series. So anyway, yeah, we're signing out. Thanks for watching.